Russia is seeking international support, and this week it's seeking it in Latin America. On Monday, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov arrived in Brazil, beginning a tour of countries in the region, including Venezuela, Nicaragua and Cuba. Brazil's Foreign Minister Mauro Vieira greeted Lavrov and held a private meeting with him. Afterwards, both officials gave statements to the media. As for the process in Ukraine, we are grateful to our Brazilian friends for their excellent understanding of the situation's genesis. We are grateful for striving to contribute to finding ways to settle it. Today, we have been talking about the context that needs to be considered in order to settle these issues, not only on a momentary basis, but on the basis of long-term agreements, which will be based on the principle of multilateralism and with regard to the interests of all states, with no exception in the field of security. I reiterated our position in favor of an immediate ceasefire, respect for humanitarian law and a negotiated solution aimed at achieving lasting peace that takes into account the security concerns of both sides. Brazil's foreign minister also said that the country favors the formation of a group of friendly nations to help peace negotiations, a position stated by President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva in a tweet posted earlier this year. Brazil has declared itself neutral in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, with President Lula recently putting the blame for the conflict on both countries and criticizing the United States for its role in the hostilities. Brazil declares itself as a neutral country. But at the same time, it sees in Russia a major partner through the BRICS, that's inevitable, but also as a main provider of fertilizers. Russia, I think, should reduce its expectations and not believe that Brazil will be able to support uh, her demands related to Ukraine. What Brazil wants is to have a respectful relationship with Russia, not taking sides on the conflict. Foreign Minister Vieira criticized sanctions against Russia, saying they are having a negative impact on the global economy. In an attempt to broker peace, President da Silva has suggested that Ukraine might cede Crimea to Russia to end conflict. Kiev has rejected this. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.